What's up everybody, Mike here with your title tip of the week. And this week we are talking about hand speed. So I'm gonna give you three tips on how to improve your hand speed and some things to work on if you wanna have faster hands. Uh, number one on that list is going to seem a little counterintuitive, but it is to relax. A lot of times when we're working out, we get real tense, we are clenching our fists super, super tight. That's tightening all the muscles in our arms, and that makes it actually really hard to throw a fast, smooth punch. So what we wanna do is we wanna be relaxed when we're throwing our punches, when we're shadow boxing, moving around on the bag. And one way you can practice doing that during your shadow boxing is actually try throwing a punch or two with an unclenched fist, so almost with an open hand. So if you're throwing that jab cross, and you can feel your arms be a little bit looser, which allows you to recoil those punches a little bit smoother, focus on your hip turn. And as you practice that and get comfortable throwing those combos with a loose fist, you wanna start making that fist at the end of your punch. So on my jab, I'm gonna step with the jab right before I hit and turn that hand all the way over. That's when I'm gonna make my fist for my impact, boom. And then I'm gonna bring the punch back to my face. So loosening up those shoulders, loosening up those hands can actually help you increase your hand speed because your muscles aren't so uh, tense and, and shaky. Uh, the next tip actually goes to something I just said. It's about the recoil of the punch. So half the game of your punch is getting the punch to your target. The other half is getting that hand back to your face. If I throw that combo and leave those hands down there, I'm gonna get countered, I'm gonna get knocked out. That's no fun. So I wanna make sure that I'm snapping those punches back. That's something that you probably hear trainers talk about a lot. So when I throw that jab cross, those hands come right back to my face. The recoil of the punch is almost just as important as that initial motion. So we wanna be relaxed, we wanna make sure we're recoiling those punches. And a way, another way that you can work on your hand speed or a tool that you can use to work on your hand speed is adding some weights to your shadow boxing. So for this, I would not add a lot of weight. I would say two, one to two pounds at the most starting off. Uh, take that from somebody who's had two shoulder surgeries before. You wanna keep these light so that you keep your good form and don't uh, injure yourself. But you can get these small weights. I got this pair at five below, um, just one pound weights. And I just incorporate this into my shadow boxing, making sure not to knock myself in the head on the recoil there. And it just lets you add a little bit of resistance to your shadow boxing. Now, if you don't have a pair of weights, something that most of you do have is a pair of gloves. And you'll notice that most of the time these are 16 ounces, so they can function the same way as a one pound weight. You just put your gloves on and go, and it adds a little resistance to any shadow boxing that you're trying to do. And it's a really good feel for when you're kind of swinging and missing, because like I would say, nobody lands 100% of their punches. So those are three tips to help you work on your hand speed, staying relaxed, recoiling your punch, and adding a little weight to your shadow boxing. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Tag me, tag Title Maplewood, and I'll see you next time.